Hello world, how you beautiful people doing? It's 12 o'clock. <laughs> it's 12 o'clock, how y'all doing? Hope y'all five senses work. Another beautiful day. Ah, life, got to love it. Take on the challenges that life bring, brings and handle it. <laughs> so, in today's news, uh, you remember the, uh, you, you, you ever seen the movie GoldenEye? Um, you, ever, you ever played a game on the Nintendo 64? Remember the, uh, remember that dish? Remember the dish that was in the movie? And, and that was also part of the GoldenEye game. Part of the, uh, part of the Water Cavern, it was part of the Water Cavern, uh, Water Cavern, uh, level. Uh, the dish, uh, that dish, um, it cracked. I mean, they're, I mean, it, um, has a crack in it, and they're, and they're demolishing it. Uh, well, um, it's, a, it's an iconic dish because it was in one of those James Bond movies. But anyway, I found this article on uh, Kotaku. It says this. It says here, uh, the massive Ar Ar Arecibo Observatory radio telescope made famous in the James Bond movie GoldenEye and paid homage to two in the classic Nintendo 64 game completely collapsed early Tuesday morning. This breaking news come just a few weeks after the announcement that the invulnerable astro astronomy tool would be would be demo demolished due to the fear due to fears that it would completely collapse. The telescope de demise began in August of this year when a socket holding one of the auxiliary cables suspending the 900 ton receiver plat platform hanging over the dish failed, causing the cable to break. The National Science Foundation began planning, planning the site dump demolition last month following the breaking of the platform mains cable as if the massive mechanical construction since the end was near the receiver platform collapsed completely in the early hours of tuesday december 1st crashing into the crashing into the dish near 500 feet below now one was no one was harmed in the collapse okay so Basically, in a nutshell, they weren't keep they weren't keeping up with the the upkeeps of the uh, of the dish. It was a giant. It was a telescope, and then the uh, platform that's above it, that's 500 feet. One of the cables break, so um, they weren't like it's not like they were. If they were replacing the cables on a continual basis, then this situation wouldn't happen. Based off what I'm reading, so. Um, this it will be this happening will be like the equivalent of like your bridge that that those bridges that you ride on in the United States. You write you ride on those bridges in the United States. If you're not keeping up with the maintenance and upkeep of, the, of those bridges, then sooner it's gonna come a time where that the the bridge is gonna gonna collapse. It's the same thing that happened with the dish, but the dish is the iconic dish, so probably sat there out in the open for all that time and then you know the dish you know probably went through some hurricanes because it's in the Caribbeans you know and um over there over there in Cuba over there in Cuba somewhere so you know it probably went through some hurricanes you know um winds and stuff like that and you know they like the people that was that, that are responsible for taking care of the dish wasn't keeping well, keeping up with the upkeep, keeping up with the maintenance of it, and like replacing the cables and you know stuff like that. So you can see that see what happens when you don't maintain stuff, maintain equipment equipment of that magnitude, just it just collapse. But the, but the, the dish is iconic though. It's in the um, Golden Eye movie, and it's in the game. <laughs> For though for all you GoldenEye players like myself, y'all know how good GoldenEye is. 
And yeah, uh, that dish is gonna be missed. It's gonna be missed. It's, it's an iconic dish. You know? um, they could fix it if they want to, but they're wor but they're worried about cost. See what I mean? So anyway, um, anyway, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box so you can see this uh, see this article. And nice talking to you, beautiful people, Chris. Still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Bork, dark side. I'm gone. Peace.